Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see install and activate VMware HCX in Azure VMware solution. So in the previous video we discussed how to connect to on-premise environment in the Azure VMware solution that you deploy the private cloud in the Azure but now we'll have to install and activate VMware HCX in Azure VMware solution. So VMware HCX Advanced and its associated cloud manager are no longer pre-deployed in Azure VMware solution. Instead, we will need to install it through the Azure portal as an add-on. The default is HCX Advanced, which, after which we can still request VMware HCX Enterprise Edition through support if we need the features in the Enterprise Edition. We will still download the HCX connector OVA and deploy the virtual appliance on the on-premise vCenter. So HCS Advanced supports up to three sites connections. So it would be on-premise to cloud or cloud to cloud. If we need more than three site connections, we use HCX Enterprise Edition. To activate HCX Enterprise Edition, which is currently in public preview on AVS, we'll have to open a support request to have it enabled. Once the service is generally available, we'll have 30 days to decide on the next steps. We can also turn off or opt out of the HCX Enterprise Edition service, but keep HCX Advanced as it's part of the note cost. So there are some prerequisites for uh, installing and activating VMware HCX in Azure VMware solution. First and foremost, is to prepare for HCX installations, right? So there is a separate documentation on VMware which we can follow and uh, prepare our HCX installation, right? So we have system requirements, we have software version requirements, we have network port and protocol requirements. We have to configure and limit the service from VMware HCX using the HCX interface and different things, right? So if you plan to use VMware HCX Enterprise, make sure we have enabled the VMware HCX Enterprise add-on through a support request. It's a free month, free 12 month trial in Azure VMware solution. So if you have uh, installed the Azure VMware solution private cloud, under add-ons, you will have to install the HCX workload mobility. Let me show you that. So when you configure the Azure VMware solution private cloud under manage, click on add-ons and you will get an option to install and configure the HCX workload mobility add-on. Right, so you will have to agree to the terms and conditions and it takes around 35 minutes to install HCX advanced and configure the cloud manager. Once it is installed, the HCX manager URL and the HCX keys needed for the HCX on-premise connector site pairing display on the migration using HCX tab. Once this is configured, you will have the, uh, the HCX cloud manager IP, the URL and the HCX key name. And after this, you will have to download and deploy the VMware HCX connector OVA. So, You'll have to open up the browser window and sign into the Azure VMware Solution HCX Manager on this HCX Cloud Manager IP on the port 443. So you, the credentials that you will use would be cloud admin at vSphere.local user credentials. And under administration system updates, you will have to select the request download link. If in case the box is grayed out, please wait a few seconds for it to generate a link. So you will either download or receive a link from the VMware HCX connector over file you deploy on your local vCenter. In your on-premise vCenter, you will have to select an OVF template to deploy the VMware HCX connector to the on-premise vCenter. You will have to navigate to and select the OVA file that open up, download and select then open put in the credentials, put in the files, click on next, review the license terms, click on next and have to select the VMware HCX management network segment that we defined during the planning state. So remember the there are three subnets 
that are configured. So one of them is VMware HCX Management Network segment. We will select that option in here. And after the installation and this process is finished, we'll have to activate the VMware HCX with the key name that we get after installing the add-on. So get this license key from the Azure VMware solution portal and then you will activate in the VMware HCX manager. Again, go to the, uh, sorry, I'm signing into the on-premise VMware HCX manager at the HTTPS with the HCX manager IP on port 9443 with the admin credentials. Always make sure to include the port number 9443. And under licensing, you have to activate and click on continue and then you will connect to your vCenter. For that, you'll have to provide the FQDN or the IP address of your vCenter server and the appropriate credentials. After entering this, so there is one important note that the vCenter server is where you deploy the VMware HTX connector in your data center right in the configure sso or psc provide your platform service controllers fqdn or the ip verify the information and then click on restart and after the services restart you will see the vCenter showing is green on the screen that appears. Both vCenter and SSO must have the appropriate configuration parameters, which should be the same as the previous screen. And if in case you want to uninstall the HCX advanced through the portal, which will remove the existing pairing and software, and it takes around 30 minutes to return the resources to your private cloud occupied by the HCX virtual appliances, before that, make sure you don't have any active migrations and uh, ensure that L2 extensions are no longer needed on the networks have been unstretched to the destination. For workloads using MON, ensure that you have removed the default gateways. Otherwise, it may result in workloads not being able to communicate or function. And just go to the manage add-ons and uh, get started to with the installation of this add-on okay i hope you liked it i hope this was informative for all of you guys if you have any queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day